As you can see, the bush here is just been totally just burnt away all around me. And uh, you can still see the contrast over there of uh, the still green and trees there. But this is just totally devastating the bushfire that happened here in the Blue Mountains National Park uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, as you can see, we've got some spectacular views. Uh, just here. To think that only a few weeks ago, this spot was just a blaze with a raging firestorm. And now we have had the rain arrive and it's just an incredible transformation. G'day, I'm Mick Angel here. Welcome to Mick Angel Here's World. Right now, I am in the middle of the Blue Mountains National Park here near the Gross Valley. And here, this spectacular sight. You can see the clouds dripped in the fog and mist. Several weeks ago, that would have been smoke. This whole area was ablaze with a firestorm. A firestorm that ripped through this national park on the fires that have been raging this summer. Fires that have never been seen before. We've had fires, but not on the scale that we see, that we have seen today. And this is the devastation of the fire, but you can see some plants have survived. Incredible. A fire is so fickle. Devastates some, but singes others. You see, new life is starting to, new life is starting to shoot back up. So despite all this devastation, it's actually renewing the bush. Now this whole valley is being shrouded in fog. And only a few weeks ago, this was smoke. This whole area was just a flame just a couple of weeks ago. Incredible. It's like it's the middle of winter, but it's actually still summer. And we're in January. That is the Gross Valley. And it's just covered in thick fog. I feel like I'm just about to step off into the void. If I would have, if I hadn't been looking. But uh, it is uh, actually January, January, uh, it is about the 19th of January. As I've been a few weeks after the fires that came through here. 
and as you can see, a few weeks later, the rain has arrived. Australia has been in the grip of a drought, particularly in New South Wales, for several years. The ants had burrowed deep under the ground to get away from the fire, but they are coming back to life. There are birds around, and I saw a wallaby earlier, so well, yes, yes, there is life coming back. That's right, it's a very burnt landscape here. We're near the highway there, the Bell's line of road. And you can see just the impact of the fires. And this is just a couple of weeks after the fire. One thing that you see here is the uh, National Parks Wildlife Service have uh, placed these containers of water here because after the fires it was just so very hot there was no moisture no water nothing so this is put they place these here they place these here for the animals to be able to get some water which is kind of ironic now it's raining and there's plenty of water at the moment and uh, but this is the nature of Australia and this is the nature of the climate that we experience. Yeah, well this is our Mount Toma really and you can see just how the fire has just gone through the bush here but you can see the grass coming back up again. And you can see the traffic, the highway is open now the Bell's Line of Road was closed, it was blocked this is the Bells line of road and uh, at the moment they've got the speed limit at 60 all the way through so but yes so I'm gonna have some breakfast hopefully they've got some pancakes here